There are around 20 different species of porcupine fish. Most are found in temperate and tropical coral reefs, lagoons, and bays around the world. When frightened, as a last resort, porcupine fish pump water or air into their body, causing them to inflate into a ball. This is the result of their stomach expanding up to 100 times the usual size. As soon as danger passes, the fish deflates. When deflated, the sharp spines lie flat against the body of some species. Others have shorter spines that are permanently raised. During the day, porcupine fish will rest in midwater or hide in caves and reef crevices. They are solitary creatures, but occasionally found in small groups. Their teeth are fused into a strong beak that they can use to crack shells. They emerge at night to feed on invertebrates like mollusks and crustaceans. Few predators dare to prey on porcupine fish. They are capable of choking a large fish to death. Fish are sometimes found dead, with an inflated porcupine fish stuck in their mouth. However, tiger sharks still successfully prey on them. Some porcupine fish are poisonous because some of their organs contain tetrodotoxin, one of the most potent natural toxins known. The toxin can cause paralysis and death within 24 hours. Bacteria within the animal are responsible for manufacturing the toxin. Porcupine fish are broadcast spawners. A male and female will come together to release sperm and eggs into the water. The fertilized eggs hatch in about four days. Juveniles inhabit open water near the surface until they are ready to settle into inshore areas. The largest porcupine fish grows to near three feet long. Inflated, dried specimens of porcupine fish are sometimes sold as curios. In the past, their dried skins were used by some civilizations as war helmets. Porcupine fish are commonly kept in aquariums because they adapt well to captivity. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button